Welcome to a special edition of In Between the Pages with James Law Jr. I'm James Law Jr. here of JLJ Media. And um, my hair's a little crazy today. But hair, speaking of that, um, I have to say, if Brooke Shields, if you're watched, if you if somehow you get a hold of this and you watch this, I'm a huge fan of yours, first of all. Uh, but secondly, love the documentary. So the documentary is called Pretty Baby, and it's on Hulu. And I have to tell you, um, so for me, I'm going to give my little, my commentary view on it. Um, but you can follow In Between the Pages on all social media platforms. You can follow it on Facebook. You can follow it on all the streaming services, In Between the Pages, Daniel Jr., and YouTube, JLJ Media, my online network. Make sure I say that. Okay, so I grew up with Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields and I are in the same age group, uh, age range, and age group. And uh, for me growing up, especially especially in the late 70s, early 80s, through the 80s, Brooke Shields was a very important part of my growing up. Those Calvin ads, the movies, the TV appearances, Michael Jackson, George Michael, with all that stuff. She was part of the of, of just of my growing up. Um, she was a major part of it back when we had four channel, three channels, cable was just starting, you know, it just wasn't a lot of distraction. She really was one of the biggest stars in the world. Well, no name. So for me, it took me back in time. Um to a time that was, I, 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 I hate saying it too, it was a little different, but not less creepy, you think about it. Um, watching the documentary, and when you see documentaries, you're seeing everything strung together. So sometimes when you're living it, like I was when, you know, NS Love came out, that was one thing. When Blue Lagoon came out, that was one thing. When the Jeans ads came out, that was one thing. Like, there were things that were all, they were all kind of separate because I was in them when I was in real time when they came out. Once you start stringing them all together, where's my lip, where's my lip gloss? I was like, wow, it does make you think. And she, the, there's a tag, one of the taglines is about, it's not just about her, it's about all women in the business and it's so true seeing the interviews of these grown ass men just like fawning all over and and using so i always say that we kind of we have to kind of stop we have to stop kind of sexualizing little kids and in a ways and sometimes we do it in, we do it in ways we don't even know say it's like to a little little girl you're so pretty at, at like two three years old you're gonna be a heartbreaker when you get older like, what does that mean? Like, why are we saying that to you? Why are we saying that to little girls? Or um, you're a heartthrob to a little boy. Like, why are you going to be a show? You gonna, all the ladies are going to want you. Like, why do we say that at such a young age? Like, let's like, let them be kids first. I mean, we did stuff. Well, this was the 70s. And it was the 80s. And things were a little different. <laughs> but seeing it all together, I'm thinking, wow. I really wanted to snatch Brooke out of those situations. I'm like, okay, no. Um. Because you, because I have kids now. now. I'm grown. I have daughters. I have granddaughter. Um, it's very different now. And, they should, and I love them in, in the documentary. They show her with her daughters. They have an important conversation. Uh, it was like we're grown now, and we did come from a different time. But like, it's super creepy. It's just, it's, it's, it's almost unbelievable what was per, was permissive and just like let out there for the mainstream audience. And yes, there was uproars and things, but. She was huge. I mean, and she was huge in a sense because of the hair and the eyebrows and because between me and my Calvins and playing in Pretty Baby, the movie, um, and, and Blue Lagoon. I mean, I remember, I remember going to the theater. I mean, it was all, this was all appointment, you know, stuff. And we all kind of fell in line. And it just, it speaks of the time also um, of a lot of things that we just kind of fell in line. Um, a lot of movies I look at now, I'm just like, oh, that dialogue is just, is not good. You know, that situation is not good. And we just allowed it to happen. And, but it, but watching a documentary is also a complex situation. She says something, and I want you guys to see it, so I'm going to give everything away, but she says something in one part that stuck with me that I feel like us Gen Xers, we get it. Like she was aware of what her role was. Yeah, a lot of this, that she was just a body, she was just a conduit, basically, 
to do her job. It was a job. Um, and so she goes into detail about that, obviously, in the documentary. But, like, we have a way of compartmentalizing in our generation, Generation X. We do. But we're like, okay, because we were the latchkey kids. Our parents were getting divorced. So a lot of things that were happening, it happened before us. And so we're able to kind of go, this happened, but also this happened. I was able to, I mean, for me, I got a job at 15, but also I lost some of my childhood because I had to get a job at 15. Like it's, we somehow know how to work that. And it was interesting watching Brooke talk about that, looking back and talk about that. Um, and the very adult world she was in, but a lot of us were in the adult world. It was like, it's just, we just were, there are things that I did in my teenage years and I'm sure I did not let my daughters do in their teenage years and I would not let my grandchildren do it. I mean, like it's, it's just, no, I mean, just no, 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 it would not happen. But this documentary literally, really does shine a light on male privilege, was number one, Hollywood privilege, number two, um, didn't know that her and Laura Linney were friends, childhood friends. Never knew that. Love Laura Linney. Drew Barrymore is in the documentary, so that's also a good source of someone who knows, who knows, who knows. Uh, but Brooke's a survivor. She's a survivor. And I'm so glad she's found her own voice through it all. Um, and learning about her her very conservative father versus her flashy mom, separate worlds. A lot of us had that also. Uh, growing up in that time period, uh, that was very interesting to listen to and hear. Um, but she's an extraordinary person. I so I completely suggest this documentary, Pretty Baby. It's on Hulu. You can find it there. I suggest it. I say go watch it. It's it's worth it. And if, I mean, I said if Brooke shows ever come talk to me, I know I'm not a big outlet, but if she ever come on my show and talk to me about it, I would I would take five minutes. I'll take ten minutes. Like whatever time she would give me, I would take it. Um, but it was good. I loved it. And I love her. Anyway, I'm James Lott Jr., JLJ Media, and I will see you next time in between the pages.